The last round of updates from Apple for Keynote numbers and pages brought an important update uh, for workflow and the ability to save pages, keynotes, and numbers documents straight into Dropbox or other uh, outside third-party apps. So this is an important development in terms of getting things where we want them to be and not just having them stuck inside one of those three apps. Let me demonstrate here real quickly how you can go about doing that. So we'll open up with a pages document and here I have a fake botany report and so when my report's done I want to save it to Dropbox for example I can just hit on a little wrench icon and then click on share and print and then tap in open in another app so this is the new feature that wasn't there before the most recent update so when I tap on open in another app it's going to ask me what format I want to save it in I want to keep it as a pages document and then I get to click on choose app and you can see the wide variety of different options uh, it, it's now compatible with many many different apps and you can even swipe over and find some that aren't listed on the very first page but I want to save this into Dropbox and maybe put it in some type of folder directory so I'm going to say save the Dropbox it's going to open up my Dropbox I can give it whatever name I want and then I can also tell it what destination within Dropbox I'd like for it to go and once I've picked those two things out I can just hit save and it automatically loads up my pages document to Dropbox. And like I said, uploading to Dropbox is not your only option. If you choose, you can use Evernote or a wide variety of other third-party apps in which to save your documents. So for example, if you save it as a PDF, you could also open that PDF in Notability. And then it would be there and available for you to ink on or take notes on or do whatever else you would like with. So an important update to, to those three apps in terms of improving the workflow um, all around.